Liverpool just blasted Watford out of the park at Anfield 5 0. What are our three, not really three, but what are our talking points? Well, our main talking point, and I'm going to allude to it in a roundabout kind of way, is I'm going to challenge you to name our worst player today. Yeah, you see? Yeah. Today was our, our number one talking point because the answer to that question is you can't name the worst player of the game today. Everybody showed up. The crowd showed up. The team showed up. Everybody showed up. It was a solid team statement um, on this uh, uh, challenge, on, on the run to the title. We, uh, we let people know that we can still score goals without Firmino. Mm -hmm. uh, Firmino wasn't setting up the play today. That was a big win, man. Yeah. That was big. I think it was our biggest win of the season. We had Divac Origi start uh, up front on the left, and Mane shifted into the center and sort of picked up the Firmino role. And he's our number two talking point, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. He got, yeah. within 20 minutes, he got the brace. You got his brace. He yeah, got, he got two goals. Two goals. And one of them was a, uh, a back heel. His yeah. first touch wasn't very good. But his second touch back heel yeah, with the ball into yeah, the net. Yeah, it was it was awesome. And yeah. who uh, who assisted him on oh, those? Oh, uh, Trent Alexander Arnold assisted with both of those goals. Yes, yeah. as well as another goal that Van Dyke scored. Yeah, so and it, he got a brace too. Yeah, Van Dyke is another one of our talking points. Uh, the big man comes up late in the game and scores. I called the first one. Yeah, I called the first one, and when it happened, I was like, I just called that play, but Van Dyke. Got a brace in like five minutes. Yeah. I mean, it was ridiculous. And um, but yeah, Trent Trent was man. Ah, oh, the crosses from that kid today. Um, he 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 was in on three goals today. And mm -hmm. He and we were just looking back at our notes. He scored a wicked free kick yeah. uh, goal against Watford earlier in the season. He loves playing against him. Mohamed Salah didn't score today. No, he still he did, he did uh, cause a lot of problems. He man in the first half, like, he caused him so yeah. many problems. And uh, I think, uh, and then we talked about this moving Mane over to the center position, closer to Salah, and leaving Origi out on the on the left there. Um, that was like we talked about that, and that turned out to be pretty yeah. good because the 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 stuff Mo's creating, he's creating space for Mane to move into, yeah. and obviously we get the two goals in the first twenty minutes, and uh, game plan perfect, check all the boxes. Now Origi got the start. Yeah. And we were saying it'd be nice for him to get a goal. He did. And dang, if he didn't score a beauty of a goal, right? Mm -hmm. That was a really nice goal. So I think our, our talking points today, again, is a great team win. Um, real good statement. And we had our eye on the, that other team. Uh, I think they won 1-0 today. So yeah. uh, we're still one point uh, clear at the top of the table. And we cut into the... The goal, the, the goal differential. Which is it was, ever uh, important. Plus 10 for City. Yeah. Before the match, and now it's a plus six, I think. Yeah, so we cut into that, and that's uh, we've been talking about that all year, and it's going to be big. But yeah, the ship feels like it's been righted, um, mm -hmm. only because you know the the disappointment of the uh, last two draws against yeah. big sides. You know, one one at home, one on the road. Now, there were okay results. You know, today it feels awesome. Yeah. So I think the next game up is uh, Everton. The Merseyside uh, Derby. I think we got a derby coming up. So. Should be fun getting ready for that. Um, but today was a great day. Yeah. Today was a good win. And uh, everybody in Liverpool Nation can rest easy tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm Tim. I'm Ty.